So, you want to get the f*** out of California. So what's up everybody? Let's talk about the Golden State of California. Well, actually let's not talk about the Golden State. Let's talk about the people of California and where they are heading to. Because they might be coming to your town. And that's what this video is about. Where is all the California How you doing today? My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local real estate agent here in the Long Beach, California area and the surrounding cities. This video is about my clients who are leaving California and they're heading to different de destinations for whatever reasons they may have. So I put together a video showing why people want to leave California, where they're moving to. So hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications. And let's get started with this video. I hope you find it useful. Now that California has become undoable to many people, it's something that the California native would never dream of before in the past due to the great weather, the amazing beaches, tons of opportunity, and the never ending nightlife. Prior to the 1990s, everybody wanted to be here in California. Well, much like those actors that came out here and tried to succeed but didn't make it, went back home, that's what California residents are doing now. Now these days, people are leaving the Golden State for a million different reasons. High taxes, housing costs, overpopulation, uh, just you name it, a fear of another reality show breaking out. Now this video is not about how the liberals chased out everybody out of California and made it da 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 da. Okay, so we're not gonna get into that. So you don't even have to bother leaving a comment down below. So this video is just gonna be about how Californians are putting their equity to work for them that they've owned their houses now for 10, 15, 20 years. So they're letting that equity work for them so they can buy a house out of state to retire in. All right, so let's just show the top 10 places where Californians are headed to. Number 10, Georgia. Yes, they got weather there. It's a little hot, a little humid, but it, for the most part, it's pretty good. They've got jobs there. If you're in the film or music industry, they've got jobs for you too. They have incredible cooking there. Incredible food. Okay, it is pretty, it is green, it's, it's, you get a lot of bang for your buck there. Housing costs, the medium price for a single family home is at $186,000. Now, if you're from Southern California and you think that you can't do without the beaches, well, Savannah has some of the best and amazing beaches on the coast, okay? And we can't forget about those Georgia beaches. Pretty nice. Now, number nine. Yeah, got a question about this one. I don't know, but this is where everything shows. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Oklahoma. Now, when we're talking about Oklahoma, we're talking about mainly Oklahoma City and Tulsa, where they do have good jobs. They have the unemployment rate is below the national average. The e the medium single price for a single family home is at $125,000. So basically in Oklahoma, you can get a good job, a good house, and listen to a lot of country music. Number eight, Idaho. They hate us. They always have hated us. I used to work there 30 years ago. They hated me. They hated everybody there. They hated California plates. Now here are the main reasons people are moving to Idaho. You have jobs, low income housing, low, low crime rate, and amazing scenery. It is a beautiful place to be living with the medium home price being at $265,000. So number seven, Utah. Now why would somebody from California want to relocate their family to Utah? Well, hands down, it's got the third best school district in the nation. And as far as your fiscal stability, it is ranked number one, according to US News Today. So hands down, it is a great place to raise a family. But just stay away from the Great Salt Lake. It smells like Bigfoot's diaper. 
Number six, Colorado. Rocky Mountain High, baby. The Colorado has been a migration hotspot since the 1970s. It's very easy to understand why. Wide open spaces, beautiful scenery, and just a lot of fresh air. It has one of the best economies and it scores high grades on healthcare. So if you're looking for anything outside of the Denver area, it is very, very cheap. But if you're looking for the ski resort inside the Denver, now that gets very expensive. The medium home price being in Colorado at $385. Now for number five and number four, we're gonna go over to the Pacific Northwest to Washington and Oregon. Now Californians have been going up to Washington and Oregon now for 20 plus odd years. It started in the early 90s with the music scene in Seattle, the grunge, uh, Eddie Vedder, Pearl Jam, and all that good stuff. Uh, I love it up in Seattle. I spent a lot of time up there. But as of right now, they are benefiting from the highest income in the nation, and they are one of seven states that do not charge individual state income tax. So what you see is what you pay. Their job market right now is booming due to the tech industry right there based in Seattle. But there is so much to do there up in Washington. You have the San Juan Islands, Canada up above. There's camping, there's hiking, there's everything. It is beautiful up there in the Pacific Northwest with the medium home income price being at $381,000. And number four, Oregon, right down below Washington. Go figure, those are for the people that didn't quite make it up to Washington or they got a little tired of Washington, either or. But Oregon has been overran by Californians now for the past 20 years plus. But just like Seattle now, it has slowed down just a little bit. And let's face it, when we talk about people moving to Oregon, we're talking about 99% of those people are moving to Portland, Oregon. Maybe another 1% we could judge with a fair amount to Bend, Oregon. But for 99% of it, it's going to Portland. I have a couple of friends up in Portland and a realtor friends up there and they are just killing it because there are so many people moving there. They don't have time to sell houses. They're just buying houses all time. The average uh, medium income with the average price of a medium home single family residence in Portland being at $345,000. So that brings us to number three, Nevada. Now Nevada is a place to go if you just can't afford the California rent anymore or if you're a construction worker. Now, when the economy was bad, Las Vegas did not feel it as bad as other cities. Yes, they did have a ton of foreclosure when their housing payment blew up, but they still had jobs. So that's when it made it possible for California to go in there, swoop up the foreclosed homes using their equity here, buying the foreclosed homes there in starting a new life in Vegas. Now, like any other uh, city that has been up and coming, it has slowed down a little bit, but Nevada still has a steady stream of people coming into it. And you have a major California transplant based in Vegas and in the Henderson areas, and the whole medium single family home in Nevada is at 295,000. Well, if you're retired and you hate bugs and humid, here's your other choice, Arizona. Number two, Arizona does not rank high on any level, does not rank low on any level that you would judge a city on. It is right there down the middle, making it just beautiful, perfect, no problems, okay? You got jobs, you've got money, everything is just right there across the national average. Single family income pricing of a home would be $250,000. And Arizona, they don't mind the California transplant people in there. They really don't. Well, so now that Californians are abandoning California like, like rats on a sinking ship, or however you want to describe it, you can use your own uh, metaphor there, these are the best destinations where their Californians are heading, which number one would be... Yeehaw! You got it. Don't mess with Texas for whatever their personal reasons may be. Now the smart thing about this is, when they bought their home 10, 15, 20 years ago, they started a forced savings program, whether they liked it, whether they knew it or not, in the form of equity. 
So now what they're doing is they're taking that equity of 10, 15, 20 years long, and they're going to Arizona. They're going to Texas. They're paying cash for a home or they're putting down a huge down payment so their home payment is very, very minimal. So they can go out and buy a car. They can get a boat for their hobbies. They can do whatever. Some people want to go out to other places and buy, get a little piece of land. So you can build a workshop on, a greenhouse, whatever your hobbies may be. Other people want to go and locate closer to their grandchildren now without that they have the time okay but you have the equity in your home to make this happen make this one step easier i have personally interviewed agents in these different cities i know who i want to work with i know who i don't want to work with i joined a lot of networking groups i know who's got good reputations now and i know who's got bad reputations in these cities so that'll just help the transaction go smooth on one end to the other end. So again, if you have any questions about any of this video, reach out to me, call me, text me, email, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications, and I look forward to helping you relocating and do whatever you have to do. All right, you take care now. Bye-bye. What do you think? I think you look like one of the village people. I'll pay for that shirt too. Yeah! Wonderful! Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.